Let's take a look at graphing systems of inequalities on a T89 calculator. Now this is my website, www.mathheels.com. And um, if you come here, there'll be a link for graphing calculators. I'll eventually change it to graphing calculators slash technology. And if you click that, I'll have it by subject. So I can go into college algebra. And these are all the different functions you can uh, do on, in college algebra on a graphing calculator. And I'm working my way through all the different models of calculators. Now, if you're just struggling in the class, there's a link that says math class information. I'll change that to math lectures eventually. Then if you go into that, there's college algebra. And here's various uh, videos on uh, college algebra. So if you want to know more about uh, inverse functions, you can go watch this YouTube video. Now, don't click the WebEx videos. Um, I need to remove those. Those are before I knew how to do YouTube. Okay, now let's go back here, and we want to uh, solve this problem. Now we can't solve it algebraically, you have to solve it graphically. So you got y is greater than 2x minus 1, and y is less than or equal to negative x squared plus 2. Now this works well if you can get y by itself. If you can't get y by itself, like you got a y squared, then uh, you just want to do it by hand. Um, and it should specifically be y on the left side. Well, if we have a uh, less than or less than or equal to, greater than or greater than or equal to, the less than or less than or equal to is below. Greater than or greater than or equal to is above. Now, if you have a less than or greater than versus a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, less than or greater than is a dotted line. Less than or equal to or greater than or equal to is a solid line. Now, these are based upon y being on the left side. So come over here. This one's a greater than. Greater than says above. So this one's above, and a greater than says it's going to have a dotted line. And we'll see what these mean here in a minute. Now this one's at less than or equal to. Come over here, less than or equal to says below. And less than or equal to is a solid line. Well, let's go plug these in our calculator and see what we get. Now I can press my apps. And then I can choose uh, the Y equals editor. So I can press 2 to get into that. And I have Y1 here. I'm going to put 2X minus 1 on Y1. So I got 2X minus 1. Press enter. And then on my next line, Y2, I'll put my other one, negative X squared plus 2. So negative X key uh, caret 2. That's X squared. Then plus 2. And press enter. Okay, let's go back up to the first one here. 2x minus 1. We said it's going to be above. Well, what does that mean? If we go into our style menu, you see it says F6. I don't have an F6 here, but it's above my F1. So if I do second F1, brings this up. And you see it's above and below. Well, we said that one's above. So I'll press the 7 that's in front of it. That's how you can very quickly choose uh, these items. Okay. Now if I down arrow here, we want this one to be below. So I go into my style again. So I do uh, second F1. And I want to choose 8 for below. Okay, now if we graph. So I'm going to do my diamond F3. There's our first one. And that should be a dotted line right there. There's our second one. And that should be a solid line. Now our answer is where they intersect, where they uh, both are shaded, which is this little piece right here. Keep it in mind that uh, this, the negative x squared, this curved part, should be a solid line. This other one's a dotted. Okay, so let me see if I can get this uh, halfway correct. So that should be a dotted like that, and then this should be a solid like that, and then we shade this probably as good as I'm going to get it. But again, it's where they're both shaded. And you have to kind of watch it um, as it's graphing to figure out which should be which in terms of dotted and solid. 
but that would be our our solution uh, to this. Now, if I um, go back to my y equals, I do diamond f1. You can press clear on this, up arrow, press clear on this, and then if I go back to my graph, diamond f3, see the uh, the shading goes away, and then you're back to where you were in terms of the graphing. If you exit out, I do second escape, and that's solving systems of inequalities on a uh, T89 calculator.